Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to transform someone with dark skin into someone with light skin using layer masks and adjustment layers in Photoshop. Changing skin tones takes a lot of trial and error, but the more accurate you make your selections and layer masks, the easier everything else will be. You can download the project files for this tutorial, including both the before and after Photoshop files. That way you can see exactly how everything was put together and have a photo to work from if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. Here we have our source image, and the first thing that you want to do is make a selection on all the skin that you want to change the color of. So go up to the top and click Select, Color Range, and if you've never used the Color Range tool before, it's a really good way to make selections on things that have varying tones and color. So first I'm going to click just somewhere that's kind of a middle tone of the skin, and then I'm going to switch my eyedropper mode to Add, that way anything else that I click will get added to my selection. Now you can either click around or you can click and drag and it will just add every color that you go over to your selection and you can see that happening in the little thumbnail box to the right. You can see it's also selecting some of the things that aren't the skin but that's alright, we'll remove those later. Once you've got a pretty good selection on the skin, click OK and using the lasso tool by pressing L Hold Alt and remove any areas that are in the selection that are not the skin. So I'm going to hold Alt and using the lasso tool I'm just going to draw around anything that I don't want to keep, which is all this stuff over on the left. You'll also need to zoom in and clean things up just a little bit. So anything that's skin tone or skin color you want to add to the selection. So using the lasso tool and holding Shift I'm going to trace around anything that I want added to my selection. You'll also want to go in and fix things like the eyes, just to make sure that you don't have the eyes selected. So holding Alt again and using the lasso tool, I'm just going to delete some of these selected areas. And this part's pretty tedious, but the more time you spend here, the better your final image is going to look. Alright, so my selection looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is to duplicate this layer by right clicking and hitting duplicate layer. And we're going to name this layer Skin Mask. Now I'm going to right click on my selection and choose Refine Edge. And I'm going to set the smoothness up to about 5 or so just to smooth any edges between our selection and the original image. And then I'm going to hit OK. Next I'm going to click the new layer mask icon and that's going to use the selection that we made to create a layer mask on our new layer. So if I hide this background layer you can now see our selection is just on all this skin. Next I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer and I'm going to bring the overall brightness up a bit of the skin by moving this middle slider to the left and then I'm going to brighten it up a little bit more by moving the white slider over to the left as well. Now you can see that this adjustment layer is affecting the entire image, but we just want it to affect our skin mask. So I'm going to right click that adjustment layer and click create clipping mask. And now that's going to use the layer mask from the layer beneath it and apply the adjustments just to that area. Next I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer. And with this layer I'm going to bring down the highlights just a little bit so they're not quite as blown out. That looks pretty good. And I'm also going to add a clipping mask to the curves adjustment layer as well, so it only affects the skin. Next, I'm going to do the same thing basically, but with the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And I'm going to take the saturation down just a little bit, and create a clipping mask on that layer as well. Now, a lot of times it's easier to adjust the contrast of skin when you're working in grayscale. So what I'm going to do is create a black and white adjustment layer. And I'm going to adjust the red and yellow sliders, because that's where most of the skin tones fall, to brighten our skin up a bit. And then I'm going to use that to brighten our overall image. So I'm going to take the red slider up just a bit, maybe to about 50 or 55. And then I'm going to take the yellow slider up quite a bit, just to brighten it up. Again, I'm going to give that adjustment layer a clipping mask. And that looks kind of freaky, but you'll see what I'm going to do next. And that is change the blend mode of our black and white layer to luminosity. And that will use the black and white layer information to set the brightness on the layers beneath it. And then I'm just going to take the opacity down a bit, maybe to 30 or 35. 
and that kind of smooths out the tone between the skin and brightens it up a bit. Now the skin's looking just a little bit green, so I'm going to create one more adjustment layer, and it's going to be color balance. And I'm going to increase the red just a little bit, and same with the magenta, just to take some of the green out. And again, I'm going to give that adjustment layer a clipping mask as well. So already you can see the huge difference between the before and the after. Now I'm going to create a group and I'm going to name that skin and I'm going to move all of these layers into that group and collapse it just so it's out of the way. Now one thing I notice is that the lips don't look very good. They're kind of gray and don't have a lot of color. So I'm going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and I'm going to change the hue just a little bit to make it a little more red and increase the saturation and then with my layer mask I'm going to press control I to invert it and then using white I'm just going to paint on just the lips to make that red show through. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and using the same technique I'm going to brighten up just the eyes. So I'm going to increase the shadows until I can see the color in the eyes and maybe soften this curve just a bit. And then again, I'm going to invert this layer mask by pressing Control i and using a white brush, I'm just going to paint only on the irises. Now I'm going to create one more hue and saturation adjustment layer because I want the eyes to be blue. So then I'm going to take the hue down until it gets a nice blue color in the iris and take the saturation down because we want it to look more realistic. Now I could paint a new layer mask if I wanted to, but you can also just hold alt and click and drag the layer mask from the curves adjustment layer on the eyes onto the hue and saturation adjustment layer and it will ask you if you want to replace that layer mask and if you hit yes then you'll see that it has the same layer mask on both adjustment layers. Now I'm just going to go back into our skin layer mask and clean things up a bit. So the first thing that I want to do, I think I'm actually going to paint over these eyebrows to include them in that skin mask. That way they'll match the skin a little bit better and not be so dark. And then you can see this little black areas around the eyes, so unless you want them to look like they're wearing mascara, you can clean that area up a bit too. Now lastly, I want the hair to be a little lighter so it matches the skin. So I'm going to click on my background layer, and again using the Select Color Range tool, I'm going to select the hair, and then switch over to my Add Mode eyedropper, and just click and drag around a bit, just so I have all the hair selected. And once I've done that, I'm going to hit OK, and again using my Lasso tool, holding Alt, I'm going to deselect anything that's not hair. Since I've already done the eyebrows, I'm going to take those out of my selection as well. Again, I'm going to right click and hit Refine Edge and smooth it out by about 5. And then I'm going to click the Curves Adjustment layer and that will create a new Curves Adjustment layer using my selection as a layer mask. Then I can just increase the shadows a bit and soften that curve and it brightens up the hair just slightly. And that's pretty much it. This method is really great because it's completely non-destructive. That way you can go back and tweak any settings or adjust layer masks if you need to. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.